really handled the pressure and it also ensures that they'll finish ahead of Syria and now guarantees their qualification as uh, it will hopefully for uh, Saudi Arabia through to Barcelona later this year but who is going to come out on top here in the UAE for this the Longines FEI Nations Cup of the United Arab Emirates it is New Zealand now they're still in the hunt for this Sam McIntosh is the last to go can she be only the second rider to jump a double clear with check in is that 50,000 euro bonus for the best performance in both rounds which of course gets split between the clears the double clears at the moment David Simpson's in for a uh, huge windfall at the end of this class if he turns out to be the only one but there's still two riders sorry three riders with a chance to join him and best potential score at the moment for New Zealand is 12 if Sam can go clear she did so so brilliantly in the opening round So far, so good. Nicely done. There is the second double clear. It goes to Sam McIntosh and check it for New Zealand. Brilliant way to finish things off for the uh, New Zealand team. They also now are home and dry in terms of all four riders and they finish on a score of 12. only the second rider to go double clear it's kept that team very much in the hunt it'll certainly put the pressure on ireland i would point out the worst ireland can do with the scores they've currently got is finish on 12 but of course that would force us into a jump off so we would uh, and see one of each of the teams come back and I could have half a guess it 